Hi everyone, we're back again today for door number five. All right, let's open it and see what we have. Five is over here. It's a pretty good sized door. It's an embossing folder. Has, I think they're leaves. It's a little baby embossing folder. All right, let me gather some things and see what we can do with this. All right, so I was thinking, because this is two and a half by two and a half, that this might be a good chance to do a double Dutch card. Um, and I'm just going to adjust it instead of being three inches on the bottom. I'm going to make it two and a half inches on the bottom. All right, so let's get started by scoring the paper. So the first paper is 11 and a half by five. And it's going to be scored at seven. And this paper is from um, the Crafter's Companion Gnomes, I think. I'll double check that. All right. So now we have a card that is seven inches long by five with this piece here. So now we're going to take a piece that is two and a half by 10 and scored at two and a half and at seven and a half. All right, we're done with scoring. All right, so the next thing we'll need to do is we will need to glue our two pieces together. And let's see if I glue it on the front. I think I'll glue it on the back. So this paper has kind of a coat on it. So I am going to use the Gina K Connect glue. And you just line it up at the bottom. Give that a minute. So this is your basic uh, double Dutch card. It comes from uh, the Dutch doors that we have here in the United States that are the split doors. I know other places call them other things. So this will open up like this and then the top will sit on it like this. So what I was thinking, score that a little bit better. All right, is I was gonna take two inch by two inch squares on here, emboss them, and then have another one up here. And I do have these Christmas sentiments from last year, and they are a die and a stamp. So I think I'm gonna heat emboss this, and use that for my sentiment. And that's kind of as far as I've gotten so far. I'm not sure what else I wanna put on the front of this card. So let me go ahead, get started by embossing these. Now this is the raised edge. This is the part that's gonna get pushed up. So I wanna put the white side of the paper next to that so it will push up through here. And I'm just gonna use my mini for this. It's so small. Mm -hmm. 
minus 1. And make sure we're up on the right side. And crank that through. There's two. And the third. So then I want, since this is two inches, I want to cut this at two and a quarter. And at two and a quarter again. So let's see what this is going to look like. So I'm thinking this for the two bottom panels. I think that will be good. All right, so I'll need another one, two and a quarter. So let me glue these on so I can start to get a feel of what we're doing here. So I'm not sure what I want to put on the top yet. All right, there's one panel. Oop, that slid. There's two. I know this has a little bit of coating on it. I'm going to see if this will still be all right. Because the water-based glues just sometimes really do bend your card. So now we have that part done. That will stand like that. So that will be pretty. All right, so now for the top. Let's see. So we have another one of these. Let me grab this. All right, so if I reuse Merry Christmas... die. Alright, so the die will take up this much space. Put this in the middle. I think it just needs something for the middle. We'll figure out what to put on there in a minute. Alright, so we'll need another two and a quarter. I don't want to go two and a half. Let me see what two and a half looks like. And always cut it down. Oh wait, no, I already cut it the other way, two and a quarter. Won't be square. All right, so we'll glue this together. Let's 
And I think I like this at an angle. This will be on here. All right, so we have that so far. So let's see what color we want the banner. All right, so first I wanna go ahead and cut this out. Let me run this through the mini. And let me brush it with some anti-static powder. This is the pink and main static brush. So far I've been pretty happy with it. All right, so I need the stamping platform. Not touch it. All right. Line this up. That looks good. Pick it up. Now I'm going to use the Misty Morning Opaque Pigment. I don't like to use clear because I can't see it. I have a hard time seeing it. So I'm going to use this so I can see where I've stamped. All right. Check all but the S. Okay, that looks good. Let's take, this is the Pink and Main Platinum Ring. Um, doesn't look like much right now. It's just kind of a gray powder, but once you emboss it, it's a very shiny metallic. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Boy, I didn't turn my fan off. That was brave. Grab my tweezers and my heat gun. There you go. So you know how shiny it is? And it's a uh, some, depending on how you look at it, sometimes it's silvery, sometimes it's goldish. But I really, uh, I really, let's see, get it over here. But I really like it. It's very metallic. Okay, so let's bring this back. So if we have this this way, we have this here. How did that scratch? I'll get that off. All right, so I think that will go up on foam. This will be underneath it. I feel like that needs something underneath it. Um, all right, well, let's try something here. I have no idea if this is going to come out or not, but, you know, try it once. So I cut a square that was four and a half by four, which will sit in here like this.
All right, so we have four quadrants. So what if I... Let's see, this might be totally crazy, but let's see what happens. Definitely want to tape this down. And I'm going to run this through the MIDI. All right, let's see what it looks like. All right, this may not be completely nuts. All right, so we will wind it up again on this side. And I will run it through. All right, so far so good. Go down this side. All right, so let's see what we have here. Let's erase our line. Oh, I wonder what that would look like. All right, so this panel is going to be green on green. That's better. Now what if I put this here? Oh, I think, I think this is it. All right, so I'm going to glue this onto here. Snip it. Go in the other direction. Now this will sit like this. This will sit on here. Oh, what if I put the Merry Chris? Oh, here we go. We'll put the Merry Christmas here. Now, do I need some red here? I think so. I have plenty of red. All right, so this was four and a half by four. Four and a half by four. Okay, that was four and a half by four that I want to go
four and three quarters. Now, you know what? I'm going to do a thinner one. So it's four and a half. I'm going to go there. And by four, let's see. Where did I go? I went four and a half plus two ticks. So I will go four plus two ticks. That's that's bent. Four and two ticks. I believe those are the sixteenths marks. Yes. No. Eighth. Those are the eighths. give me a very tiny little border Now this will sit here. That's why I hate white core, core paper. I'll have to hide that. Just go on at an angle. Just line it up with the points. And the Merry Christmas, I think, down here. And I am going to stick that on foam. How shiny that is. And I'm not sure what message I'm going to put in the inside, so I'm going to leave that blank. I like it. All right, so the inside is five by seven. So I'm going to put in, let's see, I'm going to go four and a half Oops, that's straight by six and a half. A panel on the inside. And then once I decide what I want to put on it, I will stamp that. Oh, wait, I have an idea. I have these tree stamps from last year. This will be perfect. All right, so let's 
move this out of the way. Bring the stamping platform back in. Here, put this in the middle. Let's see. Yep, that's in the middle. And let's stamp this in. In red. This is a uh, Chinese red. There we go. Bring the card back in. Open it up. We'll glue this to the inside. So there we have it. All right, well, there you have it. Our card from door number five, an embossing folder. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you tomorrow when we open door number six. Until then, stay crafty.